Hi, I'm Taria with Sonoran Prevention Works. We are a grassroots harm reduction organization dedicated to decreasing overdose deaths throughout Arizona. Arizona, like the rest of the country, is experiencing overdose deaths like we've never seen before. In 2016, Arizona suffered 790 opioid overdose deaths. Today, four Arizonans will die of an overdose. But there is something we can do about it, a simple solution, naloxone. Also known as Narcan, it's a fast-acting medication that when administered during an overdose, blocks the effects of opioids on the brain and restores breathing within two to three minutes. It comes in either an intranasal or intramuscular form. Naloxone only works on opiates and opioids like heroin, Oxycontin, Percocet, morphine, methadone, and fentanyl. If someone was given naloxone and they were not overdosing or dependent on opioids, nothing would happen to them. It is an incredibly safe medication. Giving naloxone to someone who is overdosing on an opioid can reverse the overdose and save their life. 83% of reversals with naloxone are done by people who use drugs. People who use opioids and their loved ones need this medication the most. It is unethical to keep this life-saving medication from anyone. The best way to prevent an opioid overdose is to know your main risk factors and practice safer opioid use. The main risk factors for an opioid overdose include mixing drugs, especially mixing opioids and other central nervous depressants like benzos and alcohol. Tolerance. If someone has recently left prison, jail, inpatient rehab, detox, or the hospital, their body's tolerance to opioids has changed and they are at a very high risk of overdose. A person's overall physical health plays a key role in their chance of overdose. Conditions like asthma, recent illness, and weight loss change tolerance as well. Quality and purity are a big issue as well. Many street drugs are being cut with fentanyl these days. Using alone. When using alone, there is no one there to give the person naloxone and no one to call for help. The quickest way to determine whether someone is overdosing is to do a sternum rub. Clench your hand in a fist. With the edge of your knuckles, dig into the person's chest bone. If the person responds in any way, do not give them naloxone. Only give naloxone when someone is totally unresponsive to stimuli. Naloxone is used to get an unresponsive person breathing until professional medical help arrives. If you've done a sternum rub and there is no response, first call 911. Then immediately administer one dose of naloxone. First, remove the contents from the kit. Then fill the syringe with the contents of one vial and inject it into the victim's arm or thigh. Narcan is also available as a nasal spray. First, remove the contents from the kit then hold the sides of the applicator, tilt the person's head back, insert it into one nostril, and push the activator button. After giving the first dose, immediately begin rescue breathing. Getting the overdose victim oxygen as quickly as possible is a matter of life and death. If you have been rescue breathing for two minutes and the overdose victim still has not responded, give a second dose of naloxone and then resume rescue breathing. Continue this process until they are breathing on their own and then place them on their side with their hand under their head in the recovery position.
Naloxone is covered by most insurance plans. Access includes Naloxone on their list of covered medications and makes it easy to get from a pharmacy. Sonoran Prevention Works also provides free kits to anybody anywhere in Arizona who needs it. There are also other community organizations throughout Arizona who distribute Naloxone. To find the organization nearest you, visit aznaloxone.org. For any questions, for training requests, or to request a kit, visit spwaz.org. Thank you for watching. Now go forth and save lives.